Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is David Rickert with the Milwaukee Fire Department. Today in Training Minutes, we'll be discussing how to execute the Milwaukee method while ventilating a peak roof structure. This will include the ladder loadout, the equipment necessary, and the crew positioning while performing this operation. The main advantage of the Milwaukee method over other methods of roof ventilation is the utilization of a second roof ladder. Having the second roof ladder enables all members to be operating simultaneously from the safety of a roof ladder. Being able to operate at the same time maximizes the efficiency of this operation. Now let's see it real time. Let's go. Bring all the equipment to the point of attack. The first man with the point man, the second man up will be the middle man, and the third man is the swing man. While the first two members are raising the ground ladder to the objective, the third man can be raising the roof ladders, getting them ready to put in operation. You should always use the longest roof ladder first. This will ensure that you'll be able to gain access to the peak. Notice during this entire operation that all members will always be performing a task. The point man begins driving the roof ladder with the help of the middleman. The point man will get onto the long roof ladder and grab the short roof ladder by the hooks. It'll run this ladder to the peak and move it over into the cutting position. The middleman will then get onto the long roof ladder, wait for the saw handoff, then go to the peak. The middleman hands out of a saw and then gets onto the roof ladder. The point man starts the saw, makes his horizontal cut, begins his vertical cut. Once his vertical cut is completed, he'll hand the saw off to the second member. He'll begin to make his vertical cut. At this point, at this point, the swing man can swing around him while he's still making his cut and gain access to the peak where he can begin pulling the roof with the point man. They'll pull the roof all the way down to the length of the cut, which should be about eight feet. This will yield a four by eight foot hole. Hopefully this video has highlighted some of the advantages of utilizing the Milwaukee method over other methods of peak roof ventilation. I'm David Rickard, and you've been watching Training Minutes.